I've loved art all my life. I wanted to be an artist. Um, I didn't have the skill level that I would like to have, but I still do crafting. I go to art festivals um, here in the city and in other parts of the country, and I wanted something closer to where I live. Given that I live in Austin, I wanted something that would be um, changing the viewpoint of people that they have about Austin. And I wanted to bring out the Austin artists the, and, and, the, and explore the creativity of people that live here. And their time to teach classes. So we have classes running at this event as well. So people can learn, in a mini art class, they can learn how to make um, dolls out of, out of towels, how to make repurposing signs to make anti-violence and peace signs to go in people's yards, yard signs. We are um, creating just different things uh, that people can do, but for the artists, they're doing, if there's a paint class for 20 people, um, all of this is free. Um, the artists are donating their time and the uh, people can freely take something away that will be with them and remind them of this day beyond the end of this day. And that's what we, I wanted to have happen, that people have reminders that, of the peace that they felt today. I think everyone's talking about how peaceful and calming this whole event is. So we have the um, meditation and the yoga stretches and I think that help people to relax, so it's relaxing, the music, and just the whole tone. Uh, of the event is one where people are relaxed and I think we really need more of that in a community like this and we're really encouraged to continue to do this. I think it has a lot of value um, in the short term, the long term, I think it's going to add a lot of value to the community. The event is multi-dimensional. It allows um, the different kinds of art but it also has different aspects of art. Uh, we have people here who make uh, items out of uh, metal and glass. And, um, that's what I can say about the awesome Austin Art Affair.